I want to highlight the example of women because that is an area which I think in the context of foreign policy and its actual implementation has become much more relevant and germane. I was very struck by the language, in fact, in the encyclical, and where it stated specifically about the rights of women to work. Do you know that the United Nations, about maybe it's been about 15 years, maybe even a little bit more years ago, came together and sponsored what is known as the Arab Human Development Report. I picked this out because it was striking to me, this was a report that was written by Arabs, Arab scholars, academics, others, who came together to talk about why the Middle East is not growing, why its development has been stunted. It was striking to me that one of the areas cited was the fact that women were not given their fullest opportunities to grow and to be able to develop their full potential and to contribute that potential to their communities and to their respective countries. So in this case, specifically, what you have are societies that basically are blocking half of its population by not giving them opportunities. Well, these concepts have become much more in the front forefront of our policies, definitively, in recent time. And there are many examples that we could discuss. And right up to the previous Secretary of State, Secretary Clinton, who placed a real premium on this issue and in each and every one of her trips abroad, this was always part of the agenda.